The state of Minnesota appears to be swimming in extra cash. Last year's recorded $9 billion state surplus has nearly doubled. John Groman joins us from the state capitol with the latest on what the state's elected leaders have to say about how that money might be returned to taxpayers. John? Well, for starters, we don't have all that money in the bank. It is uh, kind of to borrow from Charles Dickens, more like the ghost of budget future. It's what they expect to have by June 2025 if no changes happen in spending or taxes and the economy holds out. But it still does open a lot of possibilities. It's a lot for anyone to take in. Budget Commissioner Jim Showalter's forecast included record amounts of good news on top of record good news. $12 billion of the $18 billion projected surplus is coming from previous year activities, previous tax years. Add to that single party control of the legislature and Governor Wall sees a chance to put his agenda in motion. I think when Minnesotans are saying we need to align revenues with spending to have the best impact that we can measure and get results for Minnesotans. The governor wants more money for school nutrition and mental health staff and matching funds for federal infrastructure dollars for highways and electric car charging stations. And oh yes, those walls checks. When we talk about these things, there's going to be the universal deal that we come to, but I am still going to advocate for direct checks sent back to people. I think the starting point would be that 1,000, 2,000 for family. DFL legislative leaders were lukewarm to the idea last year and not quite ready to commit now. We certainly respect the governor's uh, proposal to us. We'll certainly take it back and consider it within caucus, but we don't have a decision to announce at this point. And from Republican House Minority Leader Lisa Damoth. We know that Minnesotans are being overtaxed. Money that could be kept within Minnesotan families to help with high grocery prices and with high energy bills, that money needs to go back to Minnesotans. Exactly how it will go back remains to be seen. Again, this is the starting point. All of these bills, especially any bill with a price tag, will go through a full committee hearing process. Multiple committees have to pass out of both the House and the Senate before going to the governor. So it could be a while before you find out if you get any of your money back and what form that uh, will take. Back to you. We'll be paying attention. Thank you, John.